Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create your own font from start to finish entirely on iPad with iFont Maker. Let's get started. Tap the new button to create a new font project. In your font creation window, you'll find at the top a scrollable list of all the characters available to you. To add or remove any of these glyphs, you can tap on the world icon on the top right and select or deselect any extension you want. Below you have the preview of the selected character to give you an idea of what size it would be in the selected font. You can tap on any glyphs in the list above to ch change to it and have your preview available. The preview is also uh, scalable with a pinch and zoom. Now select a glyph to edit and draw it on the canvas area. You have different options, the brush to mimic writing with traditional media and on the bottom left you have multiple brush tips. You can set the pen style and the radius with the pop-up menu and slider. The arrow editing tool lets you select the path of the brush stroke and edit them. You can move the handles or click on an anchor point to move or delete it. When the whole path is selected, you can copy, delete or outline it. The pen tool lets you manually add the points to your path to create a shape. You can just tap to add a point or tap and drag to add a handle. You can then go back to the arrow editing tool to edit these handles. By default, both handles are linked together when you edit them, but with a tap of a finger while dragging them, it will deselect both handles and you can edit only one at a time. Like this. The last tool is used to scale and rotate your shape with finger gestures. At the bottom left, the T icon is used to set a different font as the background example. You have your scissor which is the paste or delete button, the arrows to undo and redo, and the play button to skip to the ne next glyph in the list. Let's go to a font I built to show you the preview and uh, spacing options. By tapping in the preview bar above, you enter phrase mode. In phrase mode, you can test your font and set the letter spacing and kerning to see how it would perform realistically. To build your font as a true type, you need to go to the share icon on the top and tap configure and build font. Here you'll be able to give any details like uh, the title and the name or the author of the font and then you click build. This will build it online and give you a URL is where you can retrieve the font on the computer if you want. If you tap install iOS font, it will install it only on your iPad and immediately. While with download a desktop font, you can save it in a TTF file format by using the files app. That's it for me. I hope this was helpful and gave you the basics of how iFont Maker works so you can try it yourself and build your own font. Bye everyone, and keep creating!